Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead, and today we're getting our girls back. All right, so we're going to get our girls back. Now, what do I mean we're going to get our girls back? No, nothing happened to Carol or Ladessa. The girls I'm referring to is our honeybees. And if you missed that video, it's going to be in a card right up in this general area somewhere. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, this is where the swarm traps come in. We're going to take our swarm traps and we're going to take them out and place them on uh, different locations on our homestead, hoping that we can get some free bees, hoping that we can get some bees to be attracted to our swarm traps and start their colony, start building on the frames that we put in there in the swarm traps now if you missed the video on the swarm traps that card is going to be right in here again in this general area <clears throat> so what we had to do well the first thing we had to do is we had to go out and scout our locations that we wanted to place the bees we didn't want to or i'm sorry to place the swarm traps we didn't want them to be right up on top of each other jet you know we've only got a certain amount of of wooded area so we kind of concentrated on the back part of our homestead because one we've seen a lot of honeybee activity back there so we placed we placed them three of them all on deer stands <clears throat> we took my deer stands and moved them around we took the buddy stand left the buddy stand where it was and we he manned the swarm trap up there we secured it Put all the frames in, took some lemongrass on a Q-tip, hit it around the entrance, and then dropped two Q-tips with lemongrass on the cotton ball part and put it in the swarm trap and ratchet strapped it down. And we did this for the other three swarm traps out there in those locations. And now we're going to put the fourth one up in the front part, but we got to do that tomorrow because right now we're racing the rain to get the video done because imagine that it's gonna rain so basically all you have to do when it comes to swarm traps the less the ones we built we took some frames that we have removed from the hives that where they left we took all of the honey out of them but we left a good portion of the beeswax and some pollen and stuff like that in there that's gonna increase their comfort level inside this box this swarm trap and we place six, six frames in there so they'll have plenty of room to build in there and then of course like i said we took the lemongrass around the entrance and then in the bottom part of the swarm trap and now we leave it we'll check them about we'll give them about two three weeks right off the bat and then we'll start checking them weekly we will take you guys along when we go to check them and then if we're lucky enough to start to see some activity bees going in and out then we'll give them about a week to two weeks in there and then we'll go out there in the evening time right at sunset we will cover the entrance we will remove them bring them up here to the front and then first thing in the morning we will introduce them to their new hive and we will show you when we catch one we'll show you guys exactly how we're going to do that so this is the first step in us getting our girls back so thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless and have a nice day.